Dang it. All right, let's finish this show off, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in, showing love. Uh, Jesus Christ, help me. Uh, what do we finish? Oh, the youth, the youth movement, movement. in yep. Chicago. We, we've talked about a lot of these trades. We've talked about people, yeah. uh, the Bulls looking to go out there and at, um, move on <clears throat> from some of the big name pieces on this team. Mm -hmm. Are the Bulls fully committed to going all in with the youth movement? And, and that's the biggest question with all of this, right? The conversation that we're having. And I think the youth movement right now, talking about Josh Giddy, you're talking about Kobe White, you're talking about P. Will, Matis Sabo, uh, Jesus Christ. Matis Luzelis. Matis oh, Luzelis. I don't know why I keep going Sabonis. Because it just sounds like democracy. You're saying when you all say Lithuanians. It, you're saying it quick. Are all equi equated to being European. <laughs> I, don't, dudes. I don't think he's Lithuanian. Is Demontis Sabonis Lithuanian? No, you, you are wow. lumping all of them together. And that's wrong, Pat. <laughs> He just wanted to be mad at you. But, uh, <laughs> he's, he, he's Lithuanian American. He is Lithuanian. Yeah. I didn't remember where they uh, went to the same school with uh Kieran Karan Amagechi. Um, uh, right. Know, you would know that. I don't know. That's your he did. Guy. That saw a picture of they Ooh, were Demontis? No. Matas. Oh, Matas, oh, yeah. They both went yeah, to yeah, Hinsdale. Oh, okay. He did, he did, yeah, he did. Say, they both went to Hinsdale. Cool um Man, he's still putting some players in the yeah. league. I think, are, yeah. the, are the Bulls ready to go all the way in on a youth movement, though? That's the real question that I think we, we got to ask because realistically speaking, right, we, we could talk about trading all of these pieces, but what you get back in that trade is a big part of this, right? It, it, you could get back pieces where, all right, you talk about a guy like DeAndre Ayton. Does DeAndre Ayton come in? He's a starting center. Does he mm. come in? He's the four. Like, what What do you put Ayton at? What, five. How, how oh, do things? He's, he's got to be the gotta four, be the right? Yeah. Do you try to get back a guy like Jeremy Grant who steps in front of a guy like uh, 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 Buzilis or, oh. or Patrick Williams, right? Like, do you Kid think that, that they, do you think that the Bulls go all the way in on the youth movement and just let it play out? Let it play out. Well, I I, I love the direct. I'll say this. I love the direction that we're going in. I, I I feel like it would be a good idea for them for them to go full on youth. Uh, you love the players. I feel like they they complement each other well. You're talking about the ascension of Kobe White. You're talking about the ascension of Io probably filling that that defensive stopper role that Caruso had. You're talking about Giddy that needs to be that 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 you know, tall point guard that we probably haven't had in a while yeah. that can distribute and, you know, get transition buckets. You're talking about uh, Matis Buzilis, who I almost said Demontis too, uh, who, by the way, I had no idea ESPN had him, had him projected number one pick uh, he was as top recently five. as last year. He last was supposed year. to be a top no, he was, five he was, he was be he was the top five so, this year. No, he was so, going to be the number one overall pick last season. He was season. number one. Uh, he was on uh, – um, I'll take it. Uh, what is it. What's the what's Kenny Beecham's uh, show, the new show they got, Run the Numbers? Or something like that. I God no disrespect I to Kenny. Yeah, I, I love I love Kenny's forgot. show and and uh, Pee Wee the plug and all of that. Yeah. Um. But he he said uh, that on there, if I shot the ball better, I'm the number one overall pick. Absolutely. Yeah. He took a dive when yeah. he was with the G League this year. Uh, well, that's great. But the team was the bad fall too. To 11? Yeah, What's that? I think the team was bad. G League at night was terrible. This no, year. they were they were they were Two horrible. Wins, they were, they were horrible, horrible this year. Yeah. So I mean, that kind of took a dive on. But hey, what I'm saying is, you have the potential to have a really good young core that you can build off of. You have players here that have already taken an ascension in the league, um, like Gideon and Kobe, who have shown that they can actually, you know, make improvement. So yeah, this youth move, I'd say keep it going. Trade all these old guys out if 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 Jerry allows. And uh, my, Jerry my question allows. is, what? Uh, oh, forgive me if, even for asking, but what is the actual scheme that we're supposed to be running? Like, what is what is what is Billy Donovan doing? Is it some type of? Well, he's uh, always said push the ball, keep like move, so like it's just pace. an up tempo push. Like, what is like? It's not the triangle. It's not the this. It's not the Princeton. Like, what is triangle? What is his scheme that that we're supposed to like? The players have to fit what he wants. What does he want? He wants I, more I think shoot. he wants exactly what he got. He wants a point guard that can run his offense. He wants what we they, had in the beginning. They kind of play a little. He wants to run and gun. He wants to take it off of the rim. He wants to get downhill. He wants yeah. he wants the, the offense to be fast paced. The mm -hmm. offense is twenty eighth in, in pace of play last year. The Bulls were. Um, mm -hmm. He he wants a point guard that can run his system. Think about every system he's had. Right when he got Russ out of there, they got Chris Paul. When he got Chris Paul out of there, they had Shea for a year. Mm -hmm. And then you, I think they drafted Giddy. Yeah. His last year there. 
Josh Kitty, you mean uh no no, Thunder, Giddy no, no, was, no Giddy was drafted when we got here. So his first year he was gone, they drafted years. Giddy. Yeah. Uh but Shea was there, right? Like yeah. he always he wants a point guard that can run his system. He wants he wants shooters on the wing. He wants to be able to, so to, he wants to a run a small ballish kind of squad. He I would think you would try to yeah, imitate yeah. like a team like Indiana Indianapolis, the Pacers. They I mean, which yeah, obviously that's a big team. they have hey, the best man, pace. Listen. Yeah. But I mean, you you you're talking about a team like that where clearly the point guard is is that guy and he's you know well this is this is turning into a tall team here i mean if you got giddy at six eight, oh, we're getting some height on the squad six ten i mean yeah. the only what well, the short guy would be kobe at six six right six five yeah. six, six five six six, six. Yeah. i yeah. mean it's his hair out yeah. with his hair out he's Proby. six eight <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> six nine that's not bad i i i would see to me then you go for aiden you know, at, at that age, if you, <laughs> you can, really want eight now, all of a sudden he he get a name and he attached to it. <laughs> it's Zach Eady is going now. Now eight now. Yeah, I wanted Eady. I wanted Eady. I, I wanted my double like double a bulldog when he get a name, bro. No, nah, because I mean, Sam Sabonis would work, but then he's you're looking for a center because if we got a some yeah, the Demontis. Sabonis would. But they're not trading Demontis I, Sabonis. I know. <laughs> I'm saying the wish about list Sabonis. of getting somebody for also, something. Also, he he's a center though. He is a center. I mean, he's a six ten center. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of six ten centers. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you, that's most of the league. Footer. I, I think the I think San, Sacramento's definitely building around him. The issue is who would be available that you get something. What Sacramento's building around They're building around Demontis Sabonis. Yeah, he was a big part of that trade. That we got him and De'Aaron Fox, right? Yeah, and they and they around. were in the playoffs of the play-in, right? They yeah, took, they built around De'Aaron. They were they built okay, around Fox. I love I love they, what Ace is saying in the uh in in the chat real quick. Uh, talking about small ball is slowly dying. That's another Thank thing God. that you gotta oh. you gotta kind of keep in mind. It's, you know, I've been calling for the death of small ball dude. for years, bro. It's just it, it's mind blowing to me. Can't and, win. and I, I love that I love that the Bulls are kind of finally starting to figure this out, yes. and they're putting players on the team that work for this. And I don't know if y'all know this, right? But in the game of basketball, <laughs> where the goal is to put this round ball <laughs> in this round hoop that's 10 feet off the ground, tall guys can do it easier. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I don't know if you know this or not. Yeah. Like, well, the Knicks figured it out. <laughs> the Knicks. The Knicks the figured Pacers, it out. Pacers. Like the, and, and, and here's the thing. God, yes. the, the state of the league is changing. You saw it yesterday in the draft. Yeah. Like the first 15 picks, nine of them were big men. Yes. Yeah, like the, the league is going back to where centers have to be centers, where centers have to matter, where tall guys have to matter. They overcorrected when Stephen Curry came out, and everybody was like, "Oh, we could just get small dudes that can shoot the ball from a million miles away, yeah, and it, that we need to do and... that all over the place." Yeah, I, I and then think... all of a sudden, it was just like, "Hey, dummy, he's the best <laughs> shooter of all time." All time. That's an outlier. Yeah, You're I... not gonna be able to get that guy every single time. I yeah. think that's just the lack of creativity and patience that comes from for building teams it's such like doing the copycat league thing versus like if you're the originator of something and everybody else is trying to copy it and making a carbon copy you know that that that's that just shows how some of these gms just don't do a great job you know i i was thinking about you know like julius randall for example is another guy but he's more he's power forward yeah he's definitely but he's a scoring he, on that forward. team oh, no, he was Robinson. a center on Mitch that Robinson's team for a five. minute Mitch Roberts is definitely the center. Yeah, but he, oh, Mitch Robinson squad. was hurt. But Julius Randle would be Mitch another Robinson guy. Mitch Robinson, he did half a season. So we've seen Julius play that's the five. True. But that's Julius true. is they a don't... very undersized. He's, he's an undersized five. power forward. He's like 6'8", 6'9". He's six, nine. like 6'8". Six, six, yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe 6'9". Yeah. yeah, no, he's more of a power forward. He's that, that was the other guy that, that's, that was thinking of, like, how do we – to move, to get someone else semi-young and, and give the Knicks somebody – I mean, if the, or give the team some – the competent players on a team that, that that can help them. I think here's my thing: the the fact that you're starting to go out and and if you need to, you know, have a year where you trade for a, a random big or you find a big that just kind of fits that can stand in there, a Robin Lopez type of player when the Bulls had him for a oh, while, Robin right? Lopez. Like like one of those guys that could just stand in there because what you're trying to do you still can accomplish next season if you make trades the right way. If you're able to get 2025 draft capital, you can go out and get a center if you need a center. Yeah. You could have got one this season if you needed one, right? I think there were a ton of centers that were out there. If you if you operate the right way, you can move certain pieces to maybe bring back somebody who's hopefully just an upside piece that you kind of got to figure some things out. Because this dude right here, uh, 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 Buzilis, he's two blocks a game. 
Yeah. If you get him comfortable, he works. If he is six ten, if he is in fact six ten, I don't. I don't six ten two. We got some questions. Like six, we got eight, questions. three fourths, something like that. Bro, I've seen all six, kinds eight, of sizes three, on this. No, yeah. for real. Six, he's eight, like he's four. like six eight and change and, and eight eighths of an inch. Hey, he he got some bounce to him. Regardless of what he is, he 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 plays above the rim. I like him. I, he I does. Yeah. yeah, I like so him. But seen. but to me, you're 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 talking about having an opportunity to. Go with the youth movement. Figure some things out. It doesn't mean it's over this year. That's the thing about this. This doesn't have to be the end of the rebuild. This doesn't have to be the end of the retool, the end of what you're trying to put together. This just has to be a step in the right direction (laughs) this season. I think you have that by going with the youth movement. Guess what? If the youth movement works out and these guys are great and you win 45 games this season, yeah, and people are going to look at that and be like, that's not a lot of games. It's a lot of games for this. Hey. It's well, a lot of games that maybe he actually develops into something. Maybe he turns into a 25 to 28 point per game player. Maybe he can stay out of high school. I'm just, I mean, maybe he can get, you know, be a triple double threat. <laughs> Stop hating on that man. Oh, man. Leave that dude. Hating on the man. That's my new point, guys. Hey, that's, that's, that's nuts, bro. That's that's nuts. Nuts. Leave, leave him alone. I feel like you're standing on the wrong side of the fence. Yeah, nah, I'm just saying it's over. Leave him alone. Oh, whoa, hey, all right now, Juju. Game over, bro. <laughs> I want I just I don't want him emotionally damaged that he can't because everybody's teasing that's him. Probably like, what happened to him. I last want year. him to get hey. his confidence hey. up hey. and hey. Hey. I'm, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If he's emotionally damaged by these jokes, he ain't gonna make it in Chicago. Yeah. I know, but nope. it doesn't you keep hey. at, it doesn't, but it's not relevant anymore. Like I'm being very over. nice. <laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> It's a wrap. This is the city of Chicago, dog. <laughs> I'm just He's saying, got a walk to the store. <laughs> I'm not thinking about it like that. I'm thinking of a new point guard that we had that can do it, give us a triple double. That's but no, I just, I just think that right, like if, if you develop those guys into that and they become a 45 win team, boom, perfect. Let's keep adding on. Let's go out here and find some pieces that we can add to help this team. If they're a 30 win team and you get a top 10 protected pick, you don't send your pick to the San Antonio Spurs. You end up winning out that way. Maybe you see some small development, but they end up losing, and you got some answers. Who, do we know who the, the top – is there a top prospect next year? Cooper, Cooper Flag. Flag. We ain't going to – We ain't getting them. Well, I mean, listen, if we get the first overall pick – hey, If we yeah. get the first overall pick, we can get it's Cooper possible. Flag. That's the perfect word. But possible. if we get the first overall pick – But we got to tear it down. That means we have to get that pick in the, in the trade for the one of the three bets. We have we, to. We got to go. No, way we, we get in the first the Bulls pick. Can still, the, the Bulls still have that pick. It's top 10 protected. It's top 10 protected. So if the Bulls suck, they can get their pick. But if they keep oh, I'm thinking about the backwards way. I thought it was top ten. Where if it's in the top ten, we we don't get it. No, if, if it's, it's in the top, the top 10, ten, okay, we I'm get of that backwards. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, so Cooper Flag, hey. And I think here's the thing. This is a Tank year, for th- th- and that's that's what I was gonna say. This is a year for you to try and see what the youth movement is because there's gonna be more teams than ever trying to be out because they believe in Clu- Cooper Flag. That race much. to the flag. The race to the flag. <laughs> I said it that first. could be taken the wrong way, but hey. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, I'm I'm in on on uh, investing in the youth movement. I hope that the Bulls right. are as well. Uh, I hope we see some trades come down the pipeline, man. Because I thought we were going to see some. I thought we were going to see some kind of trade during the draft, even if it was something small, signing trade for Demar, something like that. Uh, I'm surprised that we saw nothing. It's AK. Um, I I don't even know if that's an AK thing. I think that that's just a. They're they're gonna wait until the ninth yeah. hour to do anything. Well, maybe that is an AK thing. Like they're gonna wait till the last minute. But here's the funny thing about this, right? Like, and before we get about it, like that's how we grew up. Hmm. It remember like the baby bulls? Yeah. The baby bulls Kirk were together for like five years before we were like, we might need somebody else. Which baby bulls? Oh, Kirk Come and Kirk Eddie Tyson. Bulls. Either one. We didn't call yeah. them the baby bulls. So we called Jamal Crawford. Actually, Jamal no, Crawford. Baby bulls. They were Kirk and Chandler. Kirk and, and, Kirk and Ben bulls. Gordon were also the yeah, baby bulls. They were also the baby long. bulls. I'm saying it wasn't five years, that's all. Before they got Derrick Rose. No, I'm hey, saying before that, they got Derrick Rose. Was that the Bulls? That was the, or was that I'm the saying white? That, that was the baby Bulls as well. That wasn't the baby Bulls. Baby. That was that was a Kirk Heinrich who blew out that. I'm just trying to help. No, no. It wasn't the baby Bulls. Baby Bulls was... It was Tyson Chandler and Eddie Curry because they were they were also the baby bulls. Those were the baby bulls. <laughs> hey, which one had the slogan? Uh, hey, the kids can play. Is that the White Sox? That's the White Sox. Okay. Okay. This man in a whole other sport. I, <laughs> no, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what slogan it was. No, that was the White Sox. Yeah. But no, I, I think I think here's my thing. Like this is what we grew up watching. Teams weren't built in a day. That's true. Dog, like we we re- Marcus Pfizer was not good. Oh boy. 
That's Try. It's more that about, and we I'm re-signed fine. Marcus Pfizer. Just to be sure yes, that he we wasn't good. We, we were like, we played him at small maybe? four. Maybe. Yeah, you check. realize we played him at small four. It's, it's about growing <laughs> with the team. We don't have a problem growing with the team if there's like potential. To your point. Yeah. So the first the first iteration of Baby Bulls and the second uh, set of You baby included Bulls. Tyson Chandler in it? Tyson Chandler and Eddie Curry were the Baby Bulls. They Tyson played with Eddie. Eddie. They played with Kirk Heinrich and... Mm. Luol Dang and Duhon. Chandler stuck and Chris around. Duhon. They traded, I think Eddie got traded. He got traded later. To the Knicks. No. Yeah. Kirk Heinrich was drafted in 2003, y'all. Yeah. Ben Gordon was drafted in 2004. Same year Dwayne Wade and all of them was. He was in well, yeah, was Curry <laughs> traded. He Eddie was Curry traded got later. traded in like 2006. Yeah, because Jay Williams got hurt I, and Jamal Crawford and all those guys. It was That was that iteration of Baby Bulls. Anyway, either way. That's not the bit because that's the Brad Miller, Ron Artest. Them wasn't the baby bulls. No. Ron Mercer. Ron Artest, Ron Mercer ben, Brad was, uh, Miller, J uh Jamal Crawford, mm-hmm. uh um uh Jay Robinson? Williams. Not Eddie Rob, Jay Williams was, was only there for one year. So, Jay Williams was only there for one year. He got drafted in what 2001? Oh one. That, yeah, was, that, was, that was two years. Yeah. One year. He was done after no, I'm saying like those bulls were together for two years. They broke that team up in 03. Right. That's how they got all the picks for 03. Right. The, the baby, right. But my point is that either way, it's watching a team that you want to grow with. Yeah. I mean, like we grew up with the Michael Jordan Bulls of from all that time. And then they grew to and they became champions. Yeah. We didn't get a chance. I mean, the, the Kirk Heinrich squad did pretty OK. They kind of fizzled out, and then they got Derrick Rose, and then it became a rebuild. No, they got Derrick Rose. Rose off luck. Didn't we get D. Rose off the one, season? We won like uh, Orioles plan. 1. 45 8. games or something. I think it was planned. One point. Oh, for sure. 7% yeah, of course. Chance, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1.8% yeah, yeah. chance. No, the NBA gave them to us. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. We, appreci- years, we appreciate it. 18 years to the day, though. 18 wow. years ago yesterday, oh. the Chicago Bulls drafted That's a Chicago right. kid. I was picking up my Derrick name. Rose. Yesterday, the Chicago Bulls drafted a Chicago kid. So Man. 18 years apart. So are you but, so what you're trying to say? So what I'm saying is who's from Chicago that we're gonna get? That's what they did for Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland. Um, <laughs> There's a chance. Derrick Rose yeah. 2.0. But, no, no, I'm not saying. Oh, that. he's one. Derek I, I, I listen, I listen. I just hope he's as good as Joe King. Like, so like, like give me, Jesus. give me. <laughs> That's the ceiling. I don't have star. I don't have star. I don't think anybody. I mean, he's in the eleventh pick. Is a star. It's not like he's the top ten. I, I, t- I said, well, I still, think you can work I, with eleven pick. That was Clay Thompson was eleven pick. Sure. I'm just saying the expectation shouldn't be a top ten. If he was potentially no, here's one. the thing. I was looking I, up the big board. If they he, had can, him if he can three. find, I'll say this: That's if he true. can find a shot, he's a star. Oh, 100 percent. They had him number three on the tankathon. If he no one, his shot, intangibles, his intangibles is going to make him a top. He's at the end of the day, he's going to be like a top three player in his draft because his intangibles, yeah, the I'm stuff that's built within, whoa, you whoa. can't teach. Look at this. So the big board for tankathon, they had Nikola Topic, topic. number one. He ended up getting hurt. Reed he Shepherd, tore his ACL. Reed Shepard was two. He went three. He, he, he went, went three. Matas Buzelis was three. He dropped to 11. Stefan Castle was four. Donovan Klingon was five. Ron Holland, six. Yeah. And then the two French guys, Zachary Risacher. Risacher. was seven. <laughs> and Alexander Saar was eight. And then your boy Dalton. You can't Connect even throw nine. a French accent on Alexander Saar. Like he talked like he from the hood. Yeah, I was <laughs> that was your top 10, Rod Dillingham. But our guy was number three. Yeah. And no, no, he, he has potential. No, here's the thing. If if he can find that shot, if he can knock down his shot, it, it, the sky's the limit for the kids. Sky's the limit. Like you know? everything I said, Seriously. like uh, me saying, like I'm just I'm basing it off of what I see now. Yeah. I don't know if I see a star. I still think you need a star. But if you go with the youth movement, Kobe White can be a star. The youths. Honestly, and you ain't gonna like this one. Oh, you son of you're not gonna like this one. I just know it's not true. Patrick. Williams. You dog all right, Calvin. Thank you. Say it louder for those in the back like P.K. Pat Williams can possibly be a star. Why? Why? Because you no longer have Zach and DeMar holding on to the ball for all the possessions of the game. And not the credits. (laughs) Not the credits. (laughs) Listen. Listen. I got a valid point here. Honestly, every Speak time you've seen I Pat you Will, <laughs> you got, got it again. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Speak on it. I got you back. Double credits is back. nuts. <laughs> Double <laughs> credits <laughs> is insane. We can't sit in this show, right? <laughs> here's here's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a show now. 
here's here's my <laughs> here's my problem with that take. <sighs> yes, in fact, was was Patrick Will put in a position? We're here, we're here. I'm with you, bro. Was was Pat Will put in a position where he instantly became the fifth best player on the team, hundred percent? Yeah. <laughs> the fifth best player, yeah, but for sure. Like he, he got, he was the fourth overall pick, and then they yeah. was like, "Let's bring all these other dudes in." But yep, where's yeah. the dog at to say I'm a, I'm a step but, up? But oh. his, but, but this is my problem. <laughs> Everybody always says, "Well, he don't get shots," and yet every time we replace him in the lineup with somebody else, they, they impact shots. the game more. They get shots. Why do they get shots? Story Craig, yeah, yeah. They don't get shots because somebody calling plays for them. They don't get shots because somebody running the offense. Don't they get shots because? They're following the shots up. They're doing whatever they can to make an impact so that they can prove that they're supposed to be on the floor. Why do we love Jimmy Butler? Jimmy Butler got on the floor for the reason of everybody else was dead, honestly. But Jimmy Butler defense. got on the floor and literally was like, I'll guard LeBron. Yeah, defense, yeah. I ain't worried about it. Was oh, the ball, the ball's in the middle. Bow, there it is. Hey, let's go. Bow. Oh, throw the ball up in the air. I can jump yeah. up and go get it. Jimmy used to jump out the gym. Yeah. Jimmy was. Jimmy a, used to Jimmy jump out the gym. Back in the gym yeah, I, 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 I've never taken credit for this publicly, but I remember like when Jimmy Butler caught an alley oop one day Jimmy, on Jimmy. And, and he dunked on. So I, for, I forget who he dunked on. I think I want to say it was Tristan Thompson. I think he dunked on Tristan Thompson. Wasn't but, it but the Heat? Like Nick Robinson threw him? Right. Was it it might have been the Heat the actually because it wasn't the Cavs yet. Tristan might not have been in the league yet, but he caught an oop versus somebody. And I remember watching it live and I said, hey, I think Jimmy Butler might be one of the better players on this team and we're not playing him. <laughs> like it was like he caught he had had it was his best game as like a second year player like he had like 11 points he played phenomenal defense like he was um, balling and then they threw the ball up to him and he went up and I'm talking about he sat on buddy head like it was crazy the oop he caught and I literally went and he might be the, like he might be one of the best about. players on the team yeah. was that on Chris Bosh was that on Chris Bosh I literally went he might be one of the best players on the yeah. teams that we never play him you say just, rookie year or second year I think it was his second year because I don't think he yeah, played you, at all his rookie year it's you sad you when you think about it fact, yeah. he played 42 he, games as rookie you out, it's so you sad when you think about it because if Derrick Rose never got hurt yeah, man. Saying Chris Bosh. yeah I, it might have been Bosh but I remember I had the picture like when he did it I went I this back in the day when you had to like go find the picture on Google Say that mug, email it to yourself, <laughs> right. download it to make it a screensaver. I had that picture on my phone for like a year and a half because I was like, nah, Jimmy Butler going to be him. He that dude. And then all of a sudden he started being the defensive dog and then everybody left and it, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But one-handed oop on That was the yeah. one-handed oop. Yeah, saying, everybody remember it. Yep. I, I see, see, that's and what what's I'm funny talking is about. At that yeah. time, everybody kept saying the Bulls need a shooting guard. That's all we needed. That's so we got, all we so we needed. Got, so we got Rip Hamilton. That's yep. all we needed. Keith, that's all Bogus. we needed. Bro, yeah, and, that was, bro and that was the Keith thing. That was the thing. Bro. We kept bringing dudes in, and I was like, yo, I think we just need to play Jimmy Butler. No, no, we didn't have him yet. And then they finally got him, but then our team started getting No, but we were still. Tibbs don't play rookies. Jimmy was on the bench. Tibbs wouldn't play him at all. Tibbs don't play rookies. Jimmy was at the end of the bench. I'm when, talking about he wasn't no, getting no tick. No, to your John point, Salmons but that was 20, in front of him. We talking about 20. John Salmons was in front of 2011, him. 2012. That was the year Derek Toys. John yeah. Salmons. Yeah, I remember that. Salmons was, was nice. He was okay. I think he come from squad. Philadelphia. No, John, have, Salmons, John Salmons had a hot, hot, uh, hot month and a half, two months. I ain't gonna lie. John yeah. Salmons had a, a time where he was on fire. But they yeah, traded yeah. John By Salmons the, before D Rose won the MVP. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, before no. no, no. Yeah. Uh, 2011, 2012, 2010, is when 2011. Came. Bogans was our shooting guard. Bogans, the year Rose yeah, won the yeah, MVP. Played on in that. the Boston. I know Salmon's played. Salmon's in that played in the Boston uh, round. I yeah. know he did, and that he was, was 29, that was 2009, that 2010 was rookie season. season. No, yeah, he right. We had Keith Bogans after that. Yeah, right. Bogans. we didn't get Jimmy so that right. the team was already pretty much at peak because 2010 is when we were what number one in the East. Jimmy comes in 2011, and then Rose is hurt. What? What? 2012. 2012. Yeah, 2012. yeah, but we still, we still, he came back. We made, the play, we still made the playoffs, we, right? But he kept. That's the game versus the Cavs. But my point is, like, like the peak, the strength of that Bulls team at that time. We had been trying to find a shooting guard. By the time they, they almost needed. had it figured out, we had Jimmy is when we and our guys get hurt because we didn't have a long run with but the, the squad. Pro, but the problem is, instead of rebuilding around Jimmy, you went and got him D Wade and freaking. <laughs> Rondo, like, Rondo, Rondo. like instead of rebuilding around like the actual shooting guard that well, you that, needed, that the guard, guard you wanted, we, like they said they didn't uh, think we could build around. No, they him. literally that was one of the dumbest that. moments ever. We, I don't know why we went down this memory lane, but we literally, they literally were like, we don't know how to build around him. Like, <laughs> they what, said we want to go say? younger. Let's get D Wade and Rondo. No, they literally just like we don't know how to build around Jimmy Butler, so we're gonna go a different direction. So because y'all suck, we gotta get rid of 
a dude that went to the NBA Finals oh, twice trash. and went to the playoffs every year since he left you. That is what it is. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Do you feel like the Bulls should build around the youth movement? Do we got a Jimmy Butler on this team? Uh, do you? Hey. We, do, we do not. Uh, well, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Yeah, not really. Hey, I think he a dog. How you say his name? <laughs> How you say his name? Matas Bazilis? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Matas Bazilis. Oh, you think he a dog? Oh, he got some dog in him. He got some dog in him. I mean, he's from here. He got some dog in him. Hey, this could be one of them, some of the parts, like an old Pistons squad, even the old three Pistons. That don't really work. Good teams. Hey, I mean, they've won. I mean, Those teams have won. That that once. Even the each one of them have won once. Oh, uh, no, the Pistons won twice. Pistons but, won once. No, I'm talking about the Isaiah Pistons won twice. That wasn't a sum of the parts thing. That was a yeah, it was Isaiah so, Thomas is arguably well, he, the third well, greatest point guard a great of all time. Point guard. Yeah. Uh, I was just just the way you work with me here. I'm just saying no. that we have a <laughs> you, got, you have a player and then everybody else is around them. No, but I'm just saying even the Warriors in a sense are built kind of like that squad. Great point guard, great shooting defense. I mean, you got a guy that 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 would uh, sacrifice offensive game to play defense and block shots and be a disruptor. My point is, it could be one of these type of teams that you're building a team of that's a greater of the of the sum of, of the parts. But two of those teams had superstars on them. They had a you, superstar. You you still need a superstar. I I, I want one. <laughs> you still need a superstar. That's my. But, thing. but was the was the Pistons really uh, the the Chauncey Billups squad? No, like that's superstar? the only one. I mean, but it can be done. Yeah, and they couldn't repeat it. That was Larry Brown. Hey, Larry Brown quit. Hopefully the youth movement can no, manufacture that was star. coaching. That's that all went I'm from saying. Larry Brown to Flip Saunders. That changed that whole thing. Yeah. You know, but it can be done. I prefer a superstar, of course. But yeah, give me give me the superstar. It could be done. <laughs> hey, I, I I go based on uh the the ten year stretches of the NBA where yeah. the same dude continues to be in the NBA finals usually. Yeah. Like we went it, how long did, what until Jokic? Is it till Jokic? We basically yeah, had four Kipling, teams in the NBA Finals. LeBron and Curry and uh, it was the Warriors, yeah. Cavs, Milwaukee. the Warriors, the Cavs. Well, I guess I should say we we had the same players in the NBA Finals. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. LeBron was switched teams a couple of times, but he was still in the NBA Finals. Man, Rondo was like my is one of my favorite point guards of all time. Rondo was a dog. Yeah. Love Rondo. Hey man, we appreciate y'all tuning in and showing love. Hit that right, like button, right. subscribe to the page, leave that five star review. Y'all know what to do. I was making a point. Joe cut me off. I don't remember what it was, so we're gonna what? get about it. I would never cut you off, bro. You bastard. Uh, for the miss, <laughs> for the man, Mister Media himself, Jordan JC, the super producer Joel Holt, and of course C Dub on the ones and twos. It's your boy Pat, the designer, back at it again. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. C Red, Bear Don. Go White Sox. Uh, they actually won today. Uh, go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. go, 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 go hockey. Hey, Patrick Williams for MVP, baby. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh, that's the point I was making. I made that point already. I was talking about uh, I was talking about why Patrick Williams uh, won't be a dog. But, uh, yeah, he won't be a dog. Dog.